Welcome to my bathroom. So today I'm gonna to go over my morning skincare routine. I deal with a little bit of hyperpigmentation, just, you know, from chronic sun exposure, a lot from my younger years, and also just for basic anti-aging, wrinkle prevention, and overall skin health. Every morning I wash my face, I splash it with cold water and I've been doing that since I was literally like eight or nine years old and I do it to just like wake myself up. Sometimes I will use a cleanser, especially if I'm using like a heavier product the night before, a heavier moisturizer or something with more of an ointment or petrolatum in it. Otherwise I'll just use regular straight water. I also like to cleanse it with this device. This is the Quicksonic Zoe Bliss, and this does a lot of things. It cleanses, it massages, it exfoliates very gently. This is a silicone that has like these small bristles, very gentle, works great for all skin types. So I wash my face with water and use this with it. So the other benefit of using this product is that it just kind of boosts the circulation in your skin and I think it just kind of like wakes me up, brings kind of more color and life to my face. I like to use this at night as well. It just kind of helps remove makeup more effectively. Okay, so after I wash my face, I put on an antioxidant serum and I love this one by SkinCeuticals. It's their Floritin CF. So it contains Floritin, which is a potent antioxidant and it works great for those who deal with hyperpigmentation, discoloration. And it also has 10% L-ascorbic acid, which is the ideal form of vitamin C, along with 0.5% of ferulic acid. Love this stuff. I recommend using about four to five drops and I try to make sure I don't rub it too much into my hands since you want most of it on your face. This stuff is kind of pricey. Definitely worth it, but you wanna make sure you're getting the most out of it. And you know, if I do have any left over, I will use it like on the backs of my hands. And as many of you know, vitamin C after retinoids and sunscreens is one of the most well-studied ingredients when it comes to anti-aging and helping to even out skin tone. So definitely recommend it. Recommend using it in the morning before your other products. All right, so next up after my antioxidant serum is some type of moisturizer. And I'm a huge fan of this brand, Elastin, and this is their Restorative Skin Complex. This one's wonderful because of the various peptides that are in this product. I stand behind certain brands and use products because of the studies that back up the claims behind these products. And there are some very awesome, compelling studies for this product and this brand altogether. They just have wonderful ingredients that really have been shown to help build collagen and elastin in our dermis, which, you know, the breakdown of collagen is what's responsible for the development of wrinkles and sagging and all that. So I like this. This is also hydrating and moisturizing. And I like using it in the morning as well. Okay, next up is eye cream. So I'm kind of a fan of eye creams, mainly because I do deal with like dark circles and sometimes depending on like what I eat or what I do the day before, I get like some bags under my eyes. So I like to look for eye creams that have like caffeine, along with other, you know, anti-aging ingredients, antioxidants, peptides to really help nourish the skin around my eyes. Right now I'm using this one by Clarins. I'm enjoying it. They actually reached out to me to do an ad for them, but. Like, you know, I only had this product for a week, so I didn't really have enough basis to, to recommend this product. But after using it for a couple months, I am actually enjoying it. And this is not a paid ad by them at all. So yeah, I like to go around my eyes. And something else I like to do, especially if I have time, which I try to multitask in the morning, but I like to wear these eye patches um, to really help the serum get into the eyes more effectively. The, these eye patches are by a brand called Dew. I've been really enjoying them just because they're reusable. They work with like any serum or eye cream. So I'll usually like walk around the house, make breakfast, eat breakfast, and keep these on my face for about 15 minutes. Okay, so next up is sunscreen. And here you're gonna see my neurotic side come out a little bit more because I do like to use more than one sunscreen many times, both because of the benefits of sunscreen, but also just for the way it looks on my skin. So I like to start off with this one by Biosance. It's their mineral sunscreen with squalene and or squalene, squalene. It's pretty, you know, lightweight when it comes to like mineral sunscreens. I like to use this on my neck and on my ears. It's hard. I don't really like to use tinted sunscreens on my neck and ears 
because it just gets on all my stuff. It's one of the reasons why I like this one. After I do that, I follow it with another sunscreen. This is one of my favorites. This is the La Roche-Posay Antilios Tinted Minerals Sunscreen. And I have been literally using this since 2013 or 2012, just because I think it blends well with my skin type. Everyone's different, but it blends well with my skin type and it almost serves as like a foundation for me as well. It's like shiny initially, but it does eventually like become more mattified and blends in a little bit better. Another thing that I've been really enjoying is getting a sunscreen that's made for the eyes. Just because sometimes tinted sunscreens and other sunscreens can look weird on my eyelids and I've been really liking this one by Tizo. It's only SPF 20, but it's just a little extra added protection and it also does a good job at like hiding dark circles and some of the discoloration that I have around my eyes. All right, so that is my morning skincare routine. After this, I do my makeup and I'm set for the day. So this is what it looks like after I do my makeup. As you can see, the sunscreen settled in really well. I just used like a little bit of a translucent setting powder to give it a little bit more of a matte finish. Mm -hmm. 